I've made it my mission to build a house in The Sims 4 that Leos can actually identify with. As a Leo, I feel so misrepresented by my zodiac sign. So instead of going for super vibrant golds, reds, and oranges, we're gonna be going for a modern boho in like terracottas and muted greens and pinks to represent Leo's quiet confidence instead. Leo is a sun sign, so I'm building in Tartosa. It feels right to do a warmer climate. This house is gonna be very Mediterranean and Adobe inspired. In the front here, I want to have a covered awning patio. If you find yourself running out of tiles, but you want to add a deck, just draw the room, but leave one space empty, draw a one tile wall, and then move it there, and it won't add to your tile count. It's technically cheating, but I personally think that decks shouldn't add to your interior tile count. The only reason I'm adding these walls anyway is so that I can add spandrels. We can even layer those spandrels with this rust freeze to give it more dimension. Ooh, this roof is really nice too. I know it's Leo, but I think if we tone down this orange just a little bit, it'll look a lot classier. And after all this time of being labeled as loud and obnoxious, we deserve a little bit of class. Using a lot of windows from the Jungle Adventure Pack, which is highly underrated by the way. I'm constantly using it. And in the back, I'm using these window panels to help soften the transition between the two different types of wallpaper. Landscape is gonna be a piece of cake. Well, I mean, it would be if I was normal, but of course I have to make everything as difficult as possible, which is why we're gonna be scooching the whole house over and adding a side yard over here. Just using this stone from Batu to draw out some pathways. Maybe in the front here, we could even add some vineyards. That would be so cool. Luxury, but it's not overstated. I'm going in with the smooth keeper fence, which is gonna help us differentiate between the path and the garden spaces. I'm gonna go in with salt earth. This is a terrain paint that'll look a lot more natural and help it blend into the surroundings. Where did all my terrain paint go that I just did? That's super frustrating. It is so tempting to go full fairy tale on this build, but not yet. That's for a different zodiac sign. Look what I just found. You're kidding. Oh my gosh, look at that. Exactly what this house needed. These are debug too, so they don't cost a thing. And then I'm definitely gonna have to change this this color to maybe even the pink. Even a little bit Barbie now. Oh, you know, maybe I should finish the landscaping. That'd be nice. I feel like I'm not very good at this style of landscaping. I think the key is just adding strategic rocks to fill the space where the plants aren't. We're just trying to make this cute and fun and also bold in a way that isn't overbearing. Ooh, and I just came up with the idea to put these lights in the corners. Oh yes, that looks perfect. Now over here, I did want to add a pool, but now I'm thinking a hot tub might be better. Maybe in this corner and then right here, we'll have some low seating. Put a little candle here too. That's got a beautiful glow at night. Just raising these items up with the nine key to place them on the edge here. Oh, and these chairs match it beautifully. Look at the candles and the centerpiece. And then over here, we'll have a fancy, fancy grill and a bar as well because I enjoy entertaining my friends. I'm just not a party animal. And there we go. A beautiful and classy house for a Leo who likes to have nice things but doesn't do it for attention. Before we jump into the interior, I have to show you my new merch line. We've got silly goofy merch in t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and water bottles. I've also got this adorable plant goblin design because you know that every build is not complete until it has a bajillion plants in it. The link to my merch store is down in the description. Now let's move on to the interior. The question that always haunts me, where are the stairs gonna go? That's really cute and we could do like a studio. Might even be able to squeeze the bathroom in right here. Would it be absolutely wild if I went with this wallpaper and then turn the counters blue? Also adding a stool in here so she can sit while she does her makeup. And there's a matching shower. Are you kidding? This bathroom shelf is one of my all time favorites. For the longest time, the only options we had for lights over the sink was this tiny thing and this from Seasons. These lights from growing together in a row just hit different, I'm telling you. Look at us, we're blazing through this already. Now we've got to decide where the kitchen, living, and dining room are gonna go. Well, okay, I was gonna add spandrels, but something is wrong here. Just go ahead and draw that line. I think that looks a little bit better. This color is so gorgeous for the tile. Ooh. Ooh, 
and look at this tile with the blue. This is my new favorite sink for kitchen. We even have a half dishwasher now. And then instead of having this dish tray taking up counter space, there is a new wall rack for dishes that is so adorable. There's a hidden swatch in the upper cabinets that is two corner shelves that are already cluttered for you. I'm also gonna put some of the new small appliances that we got in here because there are some adorable swatches that match this build so well. All my Sims are going to have for breakfast now is waffles because it is so fast. They don't have to hover over it while it's cooking. Your Sims can pop the waffles in or the pizza, walk away, go do something else and come back when it's finished. That is a game changer. I don't know about other Leos, but I personally am super messy. So I'm gonna have some of this kitchen clutter all over the place. And since we are in Tartosa, we've gotta be making our own pizza sauce. Ooh, and over this island, we can have this hanging shelf that also came with Home Chef Hustle. Oh, this kitchen is so cute. It's amazing how many neutral tones I used in this room. And yet the red on its own is so bright that this is still a bold kitchen while still being understated. We've got a lot of nuance coming into this build. One aspect of being a Leo that I have always struggled with is self-confidence. I have had absolutely horrific self-esteem pretty much my entire life. And I've only pretty much just now gotten to the point where I'm comfortable in my own skin. So I never really had the chance to identify with this brashness, this overconfidence that Leos are supposed to have. But the truth is there is no supposed to. All of this Zodiac stuff really doesn't define you in any way whatsoever. It's kind of turned into like a wheel of stereotypes, which is great for coming up with build ideas in The Sims, but not for defining multifaceted people. So I always want you to take these build challenges that I do at face value. It is literally impossible for me to represent a group of people that just happen to be born in the same month in one single Sims build. But I will absolutely put some shoes right here because all of my shoes end up by the front door. Stereotypes are formed because we recognize pattern in each other's behavior. Stereotypes become harmful when we use them to make assumptions about people that we don't even know. So if you identify with your zodiac sign, that's cool. If you don't, me either. This build is giving me major Southwestern vibes. Ooh, I love this with the new TV. It's a picture frame TV that came with modern Lux. I would say this tiny house is for a couple that loves to entertain their friends. They're fun, they're outgoing, but they're also very modest. If you cross them though, they will put their foot down because they're confident in what they believe in. This is technically a bathroom cabinet, but I just love this swatch so much for out here. Let's add a little vintage radio on it too. Oh my gosh, how cozy is this space now? I love the contrast between the living space and the kitchen, but they also flow really easily. And then you step into bathroom, it's like, well, bam! <laughs> Now, what are we gonna do upstairs? Instead of doing a fence, I'm gonna draw in a half wall here. And then in this little nook, we can add a desk. I could pull in this same stone from downstairs. The Sim is a little more down to earth than the typical Leo might be. For this area, I'm thinking we do like a little reading nook. I tried using platforms and the Sims rebelled against me. Instead, I'm gonna use this ottoman from City Living to create my own little built-in. Use this pillow that we got with the Modern Lux kit. Fill it in, make it feel super cozy. Scooch them all over to one side because on this side, I'm gonna add our bookshelf. This area is a little bit too narrow for a traditional shelf. So I'm gonna take this curtain rod from Desert Lux and stacking it like this to create our little bookshelves. And now comes the pain of filling the entire thing with books. Cute! Oh my gosh! We can even add the little tray with the book and the coffee mug. I added more pillows to fill in that crack because it was really bothering me. And then to hide the space on the end, we add a plant, of course. Oh yes, the infamous candles that are for decoration only and have never been lit. Adding in some really pretty pottery and some basket weave texture. Here's this little llama sculpture as a bookend. What should we name him? I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. What if we 
add in this string light curtain. That's just magical. Day 365 of building things in The Sims that I wish I had in real life. Let's stick with the candlelight theme in here and use sconces over the bed. I love this mural behind the bed. It's kind of giving me Hufflepuff common room vibes. You know we have to have our comfort water bottle by the bed. I've been dying to use these rattan baskets somewhere in here. Almost got away with me not putting a tapestry in it too. This low lighting in the bedroom is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with how it looks. And of course, our little reading corner is my favorite part of this house. Although the exterior is looking really pretty too. Can you just imagine the parties that this sim is hosting on this patio though? Once again, I've accidentally built another dream home. I cannot be stopped. As always, this build is up on the gallery, both furnished and unfurnished. So if you want to download it and furnish it yourself, you totally can. All right, Leos, how did I do? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think of this build. And if you're not a Leo, make sure to subscribe so that you can see your zodiac sign. I've already done Cancer and Gemini, so check those out as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.